Welcome to the Geico ESPN High School Football Showcase and welcome to North Carolina. Where they have had to bring in extra bleachers into the stadium tonight for this much anticipated Charlotte matchup of Providence Day and Charlotte Catholic. We've got one of the best quarterback prospects in the country here, a top 25 team. Oh yeah, and a game last year that was decided by one point. But first and foremost, it is about the quarterback that we're gonna see tonight. If you're a Big Ten fan, you're a Michigan fan, you're gonna love watching Jaden Davis play. He could be the guy that goes to Ann Arbor and replaces J.J. McCarthy at quarterback for Jim Harbaugh and the Wolverines. We cannot wait to get this one started with Craig Hobart, Connor Onion. Now, state championships are coursing through both of these programs. Providence Day, back-to-back -back state titles. They've won eight of them on the Charlotte Catholic side. Yeah, when you think about high school football and recruiting, so much is said about states like Georgia, Florida, Texas, and California. But if you follow high school football and recruiting, you know how important and vital the Carolinas are. And you mentioned that these two programs are excellent examples of that, not only because of their representation in the state title race every year, but trust me, recruiters know about these two programs as well as we will get into tonight. That's the biggest differentiator. An incomplete, and then a one-yard run. Davis on third down. Goes across the middle, has it complete for the first down, and a big hitter, Jaden Davis, for the first time. Hits Gordon Sellers out across the 40 on a 31-yard game. Gordon Sellers. They have to drive down the field and keep snapping the football. A misdirection. Here's Klein out of the back door. He hits the edge in the sideline and jumped out shy of the 15. Has this drive going backwards. And the third down and 20. They can't achieve a first down inside the five. Why not get a touchdown instead? A touchdown for Jalen Himes. I've been flowed with some highs and lows, but here, outstanding protection up front. Plenty of time for Davis and right down the sideline. He's got his target, Jalen Himes, all alone. First quarter. Smith to the air. And got free through off balance and throws an interception. Providence Day taking it the other way with Barnhart. The NC State commit is burrowed inside the five-yard line. There is a flag down back near the return. So that Providence Day student section may be calmed down a little bit, but Barnhart coming up with the INT. Yeah, he was getting that pressure from his right side, tried to step up and Sometimes you gotta live to fight another play, try to throw it out there. And then we've talked about Brody Barnhart, the playmaker that he is for this Providence Day squad. He was like a shot downfield. Davis rolls the pocket. And a strong ball out to the edge. And it's caught for a first down by Gordon Sellers. Misdirection again for Klein. Seeking the second level and swerving free for a touchdown. Ian Klein into the end zone for Providence Day. Yard run for Ian Klein. And Baggins field goal, PAT is good, and it's 13-0 Providence Day. One through the air, now one on the ground for Providence Day. This one for Ian Klein. Okay, you see just a counter motion moving to that left side where the five-star David Sanders is. Plenty of room, he's able to cut it up the middle, and Ian Klein, who moved to North Carolina from West Virginia, landed here at the program, and somebody's gonna <laughs> show up karate moves. Jaden Davis with a clean pocket, and out to the edge, space for Himes, and he cuts up field. Overtime he did. And through the back door, it's Smith. And taking on defenders across the 30-yard line. On second and four. Davis given time, throwing a deep ball, and that is caught! Oh, what a play for Gordon Sellers! Through double coverage, he hauls it in for a 23-yard game. And have, that was a beautifully placed football. You got two defenders there, the one underneath closing in quickly. He just drops it in there, and a really nice job by his receiver. So a 20-plus yard gain followed by a loss of eight, and it's second down for Davis. Had all day, now he runs out of time, showing off his legs for the first time. Guards in this first half, including a touchdown in the opening drive. He goes over the middle, that is caught, and inside the five, Davis connects with Goodwin, who is down. He is down at the three. Down and goal from the three. 
Off a play fake, over the top. It floats in for a touchdown. Bauer Sedoma on the receiving end of six from Jaden Davis. They gave the look here like they were going to try to power this in. They're going to slip out number 44, Sedoma, as well as Goodwin. Their, the defender went to number seven. Jaden Davis saw that. Nice touch there. Behind future Michigan Wolverines quarterback Jaden Davis lead at 20 to nothing thanks to a couple of touchdown passes for the four star quarterback. Well, more coverage coming at halftime. Talk about the Alabama quarterback situation. The game's coming up tomorrow, but entertaining first half in front of a packed house in Charlotte. Providence Day leads by three scores. But thanks, for, thanks for playing along with that point. Here's Klein, hits the second level, and almost breaks it for a touchdown. Uh, Davis has operated out of this formation a lot tonight. Four by one, pumps to the quads, goes single side for a touchdown. Feeds it into Jalen Himes for six. Well, weather aside, the Michigan commit Jaden Davis showing what he can do. Laying up a beautiful rainbow, as Connor would say, right into Jalen Himes for the score. The NFL. Play fake for Davis, over the middle, caught by Jordan Ship, the North Carolina commit hurdling guys in the secondary, and still on his feet before he's flopped down shy of the 40-yard line. Moving this ball forward, maybe I'll tell you after this play. Here's Klein, misdirection, and shakes a man at the 20, inside the 10, and a stiff arm for a touchdown. Ian Klein for the second time tonight, into the end zone. Pulled off of his, for an offense that has struggled tonight. Play fake, Smith over the middle, intercepted. It's picked off second time tonight. They've come up with one. And Brennan Drummond to the sideline with the INT. Drummond who had an interception last week. Closing in on 300 yards. Klein with two touchdowns already. Out to the outside again, and a third touchdown for Klein. Bama and Georgia already wanting Jaden Davis to come to their schools before he even played in high school. Down for Charlotte Catholic after taking a timeout, and out of the wing tee, it's Morris straight ahead, and the drive survives another series. A lot of those same traits. Baby Gronk 2.0. Is that what they're going to call him in South Bend? Oh, Mayor 2.0. Well, this breaks for Anderson in the first score of the night for Charlotte Catholic. Jake Anderson from 37 yards. Jaden Davis headed to Michigan on a showcase night as Wolverine fans excited about what they're bringing in with Davis at quarterback and Shannon Goodwin at wide receiver. Providence Day, number 24 team in the country, wins it 42 to seven. This team to three and zero at Providence Day, and it was an opening drive starter. He moved him down the field and then completed it with the touchdown to Jalen Himes. Yeah, we've seen him tonight make a variety of throws here with a little bit of touch, dropping it in there. Once again, showing the touch on that deep ball going downfield to the junior, Jalen Himes. Seen him at times kind of Throw it into the tight window, showing that arm strength and quick release, and also that he took a few hits tonight, but stood in the pocket and delivered. Jaden Davis joins us right now down in the field, the Providence Day quarterback, moves to 3-0 on the season. Uh, Jaden, national showcase and spotlight for you tonight. What did you hope to prove to a national audience and yes, Michigan sir. fans that are watching? Nothing really, honestly. Uh, you know, I have trust and faith in my guys, and I know that, you know, we're the best team in the country. That's how we feel. Uh, we go into each and every week and prepare like that, and uh, it's, it's up to our standard. You know, Coach Greer had a great message this week in practice, and that was about Inky Johnson, how expectations are external and your standards internal. So our standards are extremely high for ourselves, and uh, we know we've yet to play our best game of football this season. So it's crazy to think that we can beat an amazing team in Charlotte Catholic 42-7 without playing our best game. So I'm um, just looking forward to, you know, preparing for the team next week and uh, on Sunday so on Providence Day heavily featuring Jaden Davis who showed out in a big way tonight on that opening drive a touchdown and it was non-stop from there
For our entire crew from Charlotte, North Carolina, Craig Hobart, Connor Onion, producer Andy Bach, we say so long. Talk to you tomorrow. Actually, next week in Lake Belton, Texas.